Hey guys, it's Dr. Stetson at the Digital X-Ray Suite here at Columbia Family Chiropractic. I want to talk to you guys about the importance of a second opinion. One of the frustrating things that occurs is we'll have a patient come in who's been to another physician who's trying to find out why they're in pain. In this example that happened earlier in the week, a young lady came in with a disc with x-rays. Earlier the mor in that morning, she went to her orthopedist. He took a couple films and said that her, he couldn't find anything wrong with her spine. Her spine looks good and that he wished his spine looked as good as hers. Now that always is something that we want to take a look at and I was grateful that she already had x-rays taken so I popped in the disc to take a look at the films. Now for us, very fundamentally, the spine, as most people know, should be straight front to back. So very simply, we just look at, are the bones lining up, stacking one on top of the other, straight up and down? Now we do analysis where we can measure to the millimeter and to the degree to find this out, but sometimes just visually, we'll look at it and see, is it crooked or straight? Just like anyone would uh, looking at a line. That's something very simple. In this instance, I pulled up her x-rays and I found that her spine looked like this. She had a curvature in her back and that was affecting the nerves in her lower body. The doctor diagnosed her with sciatica but didn't give her anything to do with it and couldn't find a reason why she had sciatica. For us, we know structure determines function, function determines health, and when you have a curve in the spine that's irritating or inflaming those nerves, of course that's gonna keep her body in pain. After showing her the x-rays, she was of course upset, it frustrated the heck out of me, and we now knew what we needed to do. After one adjustment and started to change the spine, she started noticing relief almost immediately. This is why we stress it's super important to get a second opinion because if she didn't show up, she would have thought everything's fine and this is just something I have to deal with and suffer with pain. When analyzing a lumbar film, we start with how straight is the spine front to back. In this image here, you're gonna see that the spine curves over to this left side here. Now, in a normal checklist, what orthopedic doctors or your medical doctors are looking for are, are there any fractures, disc issues, arthritis, and anything that might be pathological. So if they don't see those, which we don't see in this film, it's considered normal. But clearly, structurally, this one is abnormal and creating irritation to multiple levels of nerves that is affecting this woman's sciatic. Let me break this down in a simple manner. Most people are familiar with the term scoliosis. When we were younger, our school nurse would have us bend down to see if we had an extreme curvature in our back. And that is one way you can determine if there is any scoliosis. However, if it's not extreme and you just have a minor curvature in the lower back, that still irritates and affects nerves and most people don't have that identified. The only way to see that is with an x-ray. Now, we in this clinic show all of our patients our, their x-rays because we believe that every person understands the difference between straight, which is normal, and curved, which is abnormal. When we show them the films and we see curvature, we know that's a problem. In anatomy and biomechanics, there's what's considered a normal joint position. That goes for every joint in the body. We all know that our elbow should bend like this and stay in that position. If for some reason my elbow bent all the way the other direction, that would be a problem and that would be abnormal. So since the spine is made up of multiple joints, they also have a normal position and they need to be in that position to function properly. Just like your ankle, if for some reason you walked around on the side of your foot and asked your doctor, doc, I can't figure out why my foot hurts. The doctor would of course look at your foot and say, the joint isn't in the right position. If they were an intelligent doctor, they would have you just put your foot in the position it was designed to be in from the beginning. If they just were managing your pain, 
they could say, okay, your foot hurts, here's a painkiller, without fixing the position of your foot. So you would take the painkiller, you would feel better, but continue to do damage to the joint. If you just put the foot back in the position it was designed, the pain goes away because that's where it's supposed to function normally.